it's Erica. I'm back here behind the camera. I wanted to do a video on how I do my Facebook parties. This is for my team, Team Wise. I want to lend a hand. Uh, I know a lot of you want to branch out into Facebook parties and Facebook parties are the the bulk of my business. So let's get down to business. I am gonna use my, my laptop here to show you how to do this. It makes it so much easier. So this right here, Christina's party is a Facebook party that I just made this morning. Christina is partying with me in one week. I do not make my parties any more than one week in advance, period. Um, any more than that, people get busy, people forget, I forget, the hostess forgets, everybody forgets. It's not a good idea to make them any further in advance than that. Um, and what I do, all you have to do is you have to just go to your events on Facebook. If you can't find them, Google how to create an event on Facebook. You need to create the event. The event needs to have a title that is easily remembered. I always, 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 always say hostesses, $5 paparazzi Facebook party. That's it. Easy. Everyone knows what it is and it has the important things. It has the hostess name because her friends are going to know her. It has that it's a $5 paparazzi and it's a Facebook party. Easy. Don't do any complicated. Don't do any funky stuff. You don't need it. Okay. So I have the date. My Facebook parties last one day one afternoon and that is for a reason if I take all week to do a Facebook party one people are not gonna stay around that long they're just not people are very busy Two, it ties up my inventory for a lot longer I want to be flexible I want to be able to use my inventory for a long time if you're doing three-day Facebook parties stop today here and now and I know I hear you but Erica but Erica these people they can't come that night too bad, so sad. Have another one. Have 13 Facebook parties in a month and watch your income change. So do one day only Facebook parties. That's all you need. Okay? Trust me, you guys. Facebook parties are the way I do my business. I always do a description. Make your own description. I always add and how it works so people can see that. And so this is a brand new party. Brand new. Okay? And the first post that I always do is an explanation post. So I'll use kind of the Facebook party. And what I do is I paste the event in the event. I know that's crazy, but it actually works so that when people see the post, they will know what it's about. Okay, so that is a new Facebook party set up. Okay, brand new, haven't even done anything with it. Oh, and you always need a picture. Always need a picture. All these pictures are available in our groups. They're available by Google. They're available, just go find them. This is a Facebook party that is actually starting later this week. And you'll see, I mean, exactly the same. You got a system, why change it? You don't need to get fancy and dancy and creative. Same picture. Title is the exact same other than the hostess name. Same description. Okay. This hostess is killer. She's hosted for me before. She is amazing. I love hosting with her. I mean, she's posting in it already. So this one will actually start on Saturday. So it, I'm going to spend some time this week working it. You know, see my hostess is posting in here. She's awesome. I've got a couple of pre-posts, but that's it. So this week before this party... I'm going to spend time working in this one. And I'll show you in a party that I had last week. This was probably the best Facebook party I've ever had. What I do, I want you to see here, 72 posts in this discussion. And that's not all jewelry posts. Okay. So we're going to go to discussion so we can see. And I'm going to go all the way, well if it will work here, it's not going to work. We're going to have to go the old fashioned way. Nope. Darn it. Okay, so we're at the very first post, very first post in this party that I hosted last week. You'll see it's an information post, I've got a graphic, and I've got the exact same description that I used to set up the party. That way it's consistent, it's easy. Then I started 
the week before the party, I started posting pictures. This is my one of my setups. This is about paparazzi. And then the day before the party, we talk about this and um, people ask questions. So I'll start answering questions to keep them engaged. And I show them, like this one, don't break the bank looking beautiful. I show them how to wear hippie headbands. Tell them a little bit more about Facebook parties. So earn free jewelry. Then on the day of the party, we get started. On the day of the party, I do... I tag my hostess so she can be reminded just in case she's forgotten. And then I do another what's going to happen party post. It's literally the exact same explanation I gave before. And people post if they have some questions. This is my hostess. She was dynamite. Absolutely dynamite hostess. Then I start posting pictures of jewelry and you'll notice I post groups and I post by genre and by color so I've got all my hair clips posted right here and I want you to see something this text I post on nearly every post in my party and I do that because I've gotten burned before people don't read the the informational posts but if this is on every post, they every post that I put in this, they can't say, oh, I didn't know you were going to charge me tax, or I didn't know it was going to be $3 shipping. It's right there. And I've had to use it in a couple of parties, screenshot it and say, yeah, it's on every post. So she can't say she didn't know. So I do post in batches. Um, it makes Facebook cooperate a little more because Facebook gets really grumpy sometimes. So I do. And so you can see, I kind of separate out a little bit. And then I have my urban, yellow, and again, I mean, you see this exact verbiage. I call that covering my butt. Um, let's see what else we got here. Some pieces I post solo, just because that's how it happened. And I post all sorts of stuff. These I posted solo because they're a match set. And I probably even, oh, I did not. Sometimes I'll write like match set or something. Um, and on and on and on and on it goes. And you can see all of the jewelry posted here by, by color. And a lot of people really enjoy having it posted by color. It makes it so easy to shop. Because if you're looking for a black necklace, well, we can find you a black necklace. And sometimes I don't always get it, like even these. These pictures I took on my phone um, because there are, a lot of them are hostess rewards that I don't have photos of. That's fine. You don't have to use the professional pictures. My rings I took take with my phone. Uh, it just worked out that way. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so, you, so here's how it works. For example, Joanne. Joanne wanted this blue headband. So she commented, sold with her email address. Once I have seen it and I have stashed it in my organizational system, then I'll comment OK to let her know that I saw it. And a lot of people were liking things, so I always drop some of that in there. A like won't buy it. Here's my $1 pieces. I sold a lot of those in this one because a lot of them had children, which is great. Do, do let's see more stuff do do after I finish posting all of the jewelry I put post another how it works and you'll see this is where's my mouse this is verbatim what I have in the description <coughs> okay exactly how it works. Once I start sending invoices, I po post this one and I'll tag people who are in the invoices. <laughs> if I start goofing up, I'll ask them to check behind me because that happens all the time. I only play games in really good parties because I don't give away free things unless it's been worth my while. This one was worth my while. So that was just a game I played. They had a lot of fun. I mean, there's so many comments below that, <laughs> you know, 
70 comments. That's incredible. I asked them to like my business page, and a lot of them did. And that is, and then I asked them if they'll have their own Facebook parties, and I booked two from it. Okay, so that is a Facebook party that I've, that I have done. Okay, now for how I keep myself organized. So I have files. I have a lot of files. I use Dropbox a lot. Um, this is, these are all of my photo files. So you guys, I don't remember names of pieces, except for some of the ones we have a lot. Uh, that are very static. I don't remember the names, but I do use photos. These are the very photos that I upload and I just have them by color because color is the way I do it. So I use these files almost exclusively. Once I sell something and it goes away, I will remove the photo from my file. Now, once someone in my party comments sold, I use Google Docs. I use Google Docs a lot. I even have a folder here for all of my paparazzi parties. So here's the one that I did for the party last week for Gina. Um, and what I do is I keep everything here. And I, and as I said, I use the photos. So in the doc, that's not cooperating with me, I put the customer's name email and the photos of what they want because I'm not going to remember what they are and when I invoice them I put there that I've invoiced them or all those kind of things so I've got all of these pictures here Google Docs is right attached to a Gmail address it's so simple so easy I recommend it for everyone because look at these I mean bigger orders like this I could never keep up with all of that. And I don't pull them until they've paid for them. Uh, because I'm not going to waste all that time pulling orders for people who haven't paid. So that's how I keep mine organized. All right. I hope that helps you. Oh, and I invoice. Uh, I use PayPal. You can use whatever you want. Um, just make sure that you can collect payment. Hope that helps you. This is... The easiest way that I've found to do it um, for myself, so find your system. I highly recommend you make it very simple, very replicable, because once you find a good system, just use it. Don't change it. If it ain't broke, you know, don't fix it. So good luck. Go party. And I do mean it. One day Facebook parties um, so that you can be more versatile, so that you can put your inventory to work for you in more situations. Okay. Bye.